Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning level 8 framework tutorial. This is our partner 45. Inside this video, we want to discuss the concept of accessors in level 8. So accessors are those concept of models which is going to access values but if we want to manipulate or change any value before printing, we can easily do by the help of accessor based concept. So if we back to editor, we are going to inside this app HTTP controllers. Let's say that we are going to implement our accessors based concept inside this service controller. So before that, I am going to import a model. So go inside this models folder. Right here inside this models folder, we have employee, student and user. So a student model basically indicates a student's table of this database. So if we go inside this students, right now we have all these dummy data. So what we want, we are to manipulate or let's say change the value before printing into the page. These all the cases we will do by the help of accessors based concept and these features provided by model. So if I back to editor, so first of all, we need to import this model, let's say student.php inside our service controller. So go inside this service controller. Let's say that use student model. We are going to create a method. So let's say public function students and inside this method we are going to use our student model student model and by the help of all method we are going to retrieve all the data from our students table so simply if we write let's say return here so return if we save all these changes go inside this routes folder let's create a route for this so route get if i type all hyphen students it is going to use let's say service controller it's a class and inside this class we have a students method so if i copy this route back to browser and if i type all students so inside this all students we are getting all the data what we have inside our database so this is first object here we have inside this we have id name email mobile and these are two timestamps values so we are getting all the values from our database if we want to get only 10 number of rows for that simply back to service controller here we are going to use a limit method let's say 10 if we save go and reload this page so here we have some error so instead of using all let's use get method go and reload this page now this time we are getting only 10 number of records now we are going to start the concept of accessor so let's say that this is the email value what we are getting inside each object so we want that the email value should be converted into uppercase before printing here means we want to change the case of email address so how can we do simply back to editor go inside this model so i will open student.php public function and we are going to use or create our first accessor. So before accessing our values, let's say before accessing this email address, we want to create our accessor inside a student because these are all objects actually we are getting from a student model. So go inside this model, let's say get email attribute and inside this here we are reading our value and simply we are returning let's say return str to upper str to upper and we are going to convert our value so if we save all these changes 
go and reload this page. Now as we can see that our email address is now converted into uppercase. But in our database still it is in lowercase. So how can we get these values inside this uppercase here? This is because of using accessor. So if we back to editor, if we copy the syntax, go here and if we closely look inside this method name, so simply get is the keyword. Here we have the column name. This is all about the column name and again attribute is the keyword. And inside this method, we have passed our value which is going to indicate each value of each object. It means the first email value as a value for this object, second email address is the second value for this object and so on. So after getting this email address, this value simply passed inside this model means inside this accessor method. After getting this value, it has now converted by the help of this PHP function, it converted into uppercase and returned inside this output. So simply, let's say that if we want to convert this timestamp values means created at. So back to editor, go inside this model, let's say public function. Keep in mind all about our method name convention. So get as the keyword, next we need to write the column name. So here we have the column name as created underscore add. So what we have to do, it should be created for the first word add for the second word and next attribute and inside this we have to pass our value this value indicates about each value of each object so after this getting this value what we want simply return let's say dit ymd h we're going to convert inside this format so str to time and inside this we are going to pass our value so if we save all these changes what we had done inside this model go and reload this page so as we can see for this created add column our accessor is now working we are getting our date and time value inside this y m d h i s so we have applied the concept of accessors inside this email as well as inside this created ad. So in the next video, we will discuss about mutators. So this is video guys only for the accessors. Accessors simply represents how can we manipulate our values before accessing. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.